Hey again, YouTubers. So this is a review on two Clinique products that I own uh, from that ColourPop line. And I would love to know suggestions from you guys um, from this line on any other options that you think uh, are worth giving a try. The first thing I'm going to touch base on is the, it is called the Cheek Pop 08 in the color Melon Pop. And this is what it looks like. I will put a clip in here of how I apply it. It is, this one is a very basic color. Um, it's just something that I figured was good to start with to see how I liked these, um, to determine whether I felt like I should buy more of them or not. Um, I think this is a really nice product. I think the color is nice on this one. I like the little flower embossing through here. I think that's super cute. Um, I've never really been a big Clinique blush person. Um, I've owned a lot of Clinique products over the years, and my mother-in-law actually used to work for Clinique. Um, and so it's interesting that I, like, never really went further into their company. Um, I will say that I have an eye palette by them that I absolutely love too, that I'm just gonna mention real quick. It's the Clinique uh, Pink Chocolates, all about Shadow Quad. And uh, I should have put this one on today. This is just an amazing eye quad if you need something that's just like a basic eye quad. It's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. But sorry, back to the ColourPop items. Um, this blush is very nice. It's fairly pigmented for the type of blush it is. It has a nice sheen to it. It isn't glittery or, um, you know, too reflective. It just has a nice sheen to it. It would work for all skin types and tones. Um, as far as the texture, it's very smooth and very creamy. And uh, I'm actually really impressed with these to the point that I'd love to know if you guys know any other colors or if you have any other suggestions for ones I should try. Keep in mind, I don't tend to go too far out with blushes. Um, I tend to stay in the peachy pink neutral tone ones. I don't like a really bright cheek. Um, so that's why when I pick something up, especially to review, I tend to go for the same type of colors and the same basic looks. But um, I will say that I'm quite impressed with these little uh, blushes here. They're really just cute and fun and just like they make you smile. I'm not going to lie. Like they literally make you smile when you look at them. It's $21. Um, the basis of these blushes is they are supposed to be baked to give you like mm. the hot, hot, hottest highest color payoff for the colors you're getting. Um, it's supposed to be a smooth powder that does not reflect being put on as a powder. So meaning it doesn't give you that cakey dry look. It kind of gives you a nice healthy sheen. Um, probably staying along the lines, I think, of what, um, you know, the hourglass type of ones are without having another powder in with them to give you that healthy natural glow that your skin but better type of look. And I do think that this color in particular, it doesn't look like much in the pan, but it is really, really good for that. Um, I don't think this would this color would work for darker skin tones. Um, I can wear it when I'm super pale. When I first got it, I was really pale. I got it in April or May. I don't know, it was a while back. Um, and I will, yeah, April or May, maybe March. I don't know. Anyway, it was whenever that Sephora sale was. I think that was the beginning of April. Um, and I was really pale and I could wear it, but I'm still now darker from the summertime and getting more color and being out in the sun. And I definitely think that it still works for me. Um, I think if you go much darker than me, skin tone wise, it's probably this color is not gonna show up, but they do have, I think it's like 11 other colors. Sorry, let me look at my phone real quick. Um, yeah, 11 more colors. So it's a decent color line too. Uh, breakdown on this one real fast, pigmentation. I think the pigmentation is great on this. I think it's very soft and creamy and pigmented and true to what you're seeing here in the little packaging. I actually like that too. Um, so pigmentation is good. It's a good solid four and a half out of five. The texture is amazing. It's super soft and almost creamy feeling but still is a powder it does not have hardly any fallout at all like none which is awesome so texture is awesome five out of five longevity it does last on me all day I'm not gonna lie I think it definitely has a nice color to it and it truly stays to what it is so longevity is a good solid five out of five application it applies like any other blush there's no easy or hard way to do it. Um, it. With a blush brush, you put it on, put it where you want it, it stays there. I don't find that to be, that's middle of the road. There's no difference with blush with that for me. 
um, packaging. I actually like the packaging. I like the fact that you can see the little flower. I like the fact that the back has the color on it and the name. Um, it's really cute. It's just really cute. Packaging is a five out of five for me. Price, $21. I don't think that's bad. Um, you get 0.12 ounces or 3.5 grams. Um, it's a little bit smaller than a typical blush, but it's not bad. I mean, I think for the price, $21, like this will last a really long while. You also don't need a whole lot of it. It's not one, like ones that have a lot of fallout that you're constantly trying to pick up more product. It does pick up and distribute very easily. So price is fine. It's a good solid four and a half out of five. Product overall, I'm actually impressed with these. I, I'm surprisingly, 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 surprisingly impressed with these. I really do like the products. I think it's a really nice product product and it's done um they've done a really great job with this line I'm really impressed with that so the product overall on this for me is a five out of five and I think I'll buy at least one more um just check out the colors and find out if there's one more that I think I could work out let me know what that color might be if you guys can tell me the next item from them that I want to talk about is uh the lipstick and they are called the color pop lip colors and primers um in the color zero two bear pop this is what the packaging looks like. It's cute. You can see the color from here. Um, you open it up. It twists up like a normal lipstick. This is Bear Pop right here. I will also insert a clip right after this of how I applied it. Um, I did use lip liner. I used Makeup Forever 1C, and then I used this. Um, they work beautifully together. Um, this is one that I think I would branch out further in more so than the blush. I'm kind of a creature of habit with blush. Lipsticks, I like the same ones. If I'm buying one for the first time, I tend to go for the same tones. But once I realize if I like it, I think that I definitely branch out even further. Um, I first thought to myself, it feels like a regular lipstick. I didn't notice anything crazy or different. Like when I got the NARS Audacious ones, they felt different. Like that's the only way I can explain it. They just felt different to me. Um, and so when I first tried it on, I was like, it's nice. It's a pretty color, but I'm not like, this is different. We'll say the staying power is better. And that could be the fact that it has the primer based into it. Does that help it stay onto your lips? Does that give you more texture, more smoothness? It is extremely creamy and smooth goes on very easily, um, and it stays really well, which that's the part that somewhat confuses me. The part that I think I get confused about is the primer. I'm not exactly sure how that works. It's I can't seem to find any information on how it works. Um, the basis of it is, though, that it will help you create a lipstick that will last on you. I think it's up to eight hours, I think they say. Um, these are supposed to be weightless. I don't know. Do you ever felt a lipstick that feels heavy? I mean short of one that's like one of those like long wear ones that get cakey on your lips. I don't ever put a lipstick on and say, oh, that feels so heavy. I don't know. Do you? Maybe it's something I don't do. I don't know. Um, but it does definitely feel very nice. I think it stays very well on the lips. Does it last eight hours? No. Does it transfer if you're drinking out of a cup? Yes. Um, I have 15 colors, um, which I didn't realize. So I'd be interested for you guys to tell me some other colors to try because this is where I step out of my comfort zone more than a blush. I think I already said that. But um, pigmentation, I think the pigmentation on these is great. I think they're very cream, creamy. I think that is very true to what you are going to see there on the package. So if you're wondering what it'll look like on, I think it is very true to what it is. Um, and the pigmentation is very nice on these. I would say a good solid five out of five. Texture, very creamy, very smooth, very easy to apply. Feels nice on your lips. Great texture, five out of five. Longevity, okay. Here's where I'm taking them down a notch. I'm gonna say it's a three and a half out of five because I love how it lasts on my lips, but I hate things that say, we're gonna last eight hours and it doesn't because it doesn't. It does not last eight hours. Does it last? If you put it on and you do absolutely nothing for eight hours, yeah, it's gonna last eight hours. Is it going to last eight hours when you are doing things like eating and drinking and talking and doing stuff? No, it really doesn't. So longevity is three and a half out of five. Application, it's a lipstick. How hard is it to apply? That's just silly for me to write that. Um, packaging, I think the packaging's cute. It's clean. It's better than Clinique's old packaging. 
so I like it. I'll give them a good solid four out of five on that. Price, I think it's $18. I think 18 is what I looked up. Yep, $18. I think that's a great price for a lipstick. I think that's really awesome. Five out of five for that. Product overall, I really, I've gone back and forth about this. I'm not going to lie because at first I wasn't wowed by them, um, but I'd like to see what other colors they have. And if I try something darker, if it would stay better than another lipstick would. Does that make sense? So product overall on this, I'm going to say, is a good solid four and a half out of five. Um, I'd love to know color s suggestions from you guys and uh, definitely give some more of these a shot. So have you tried them? I'd love to know. So thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions and let's see what I'm wearing here today. All right. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation uh, Hourglass Bronzer, the lighter of the two. The Clinique uh, Color Pop in the Melon Pop Laura Mercier Highlighter on the cheekbone. Tarte CC, oh, I have Urban Decay Naked Powder to set. Tarte CC Corrector Under the Eyes, Lancome Waterproof Concealer Under the Eyes, Besame Powder to set Under the Eyes, NARS Pro Prime Lid Primer, whatever that's called, on my lids, uh, Anastasia Brow Wiz, Brow Duality, and Brow, or no, Benefit Gimme Brow. Uh, on my eyes is the Too Faced. I do not stray a lot during the summer because I take like one or two things with me. So this is what I've been wearing a lot this summer. Um, Too Faced Semi Sweet Palette Mousse and Truffled um, in the crease. Bon Bon on the lid. Frosting on the outer corner and the lower lash line. I've been using this all the time. Estee Lauder Double Wear in Sapphire. This is my new favorite eyeliner. Uh, love the blue for the summertime on my eyes. Estee Lauder Black Primer, Little Black Primer, uh, Benefit Roller Lash still, um, and on my lips is the Clinique ColourPop and a uh, shirt. This is an old shirt, guys, I'm not gonna lie. It's, uh, I don't even know, it's from a little boutique down in the city. My monogram and my Rebel Pendant, let's see if I can sit up and you can see it. My Rebel Pendant, a little bit of a like hippie shirt, so I wanted a longer pendant. Hair is still all summer I've been doing this. I've done, I've hardly ever curled my hair this entire summer. I've done no heat in one way or another with those Bumble and Bumble products all summer. Oh, on my wrist, uh, Rebel Cluster Bracelet, Tiffany Ball Bracelet, and the, I think it's the Christina that comes, these two come, are still in dot and they come in silver or in gold, but I've been mixing metals. Um, everything else is the same as far as jewelry, and that is everything. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a great day.